Thank you. Good morning. I'm I have moved since last night. It might not look like it. I'm hiding upstairs just to record. We've got the Manth and Thames water here fitting our water meter. Everybody in our area has to have a compulsory water meter. Oh, I can hear him. Hang on, I'll catch up with you in a bit. <laughs> My lovely neat cupboard. So, as I was, this is really uncomfortable. I have to move it. Let's go over here. Right, I haven't done anything with my hair this morning, so you'll have to excuse it. So we live in the southeast, and we have to have compulsory water meters fitted. Now um, you don't have a choice; you have to have them fitted, and they can't always fit them outside uh, because of the way our um, water is set up. We're in a terrace, and we can't have ours fitted outside, so it had to be inside. So it's inside the cupboard. He did a good job. Our builder had left a space, but he couldn't fit all the fittings in there. So you did have to fit the meter outside of the little box that we had built. But it's fairly unobtrusive. I can rearrange that cupboard. We've already got more storage than we ever had in our old kitchen. Um, so we can work around it. What I might do is get a little sort of wooden box or something so I can just slot it up against the water meter and then use the top of it as a shelf. Uh, I'm just trying to think if I've got anything I could use already or something similar to what we did for our charging station so I'll show you in case you haven't seen it before we did this a little while ago so you have to excuse it it is a bit of a mess and some of my uh, duct tape is coming <laughs> undone but that's the point of it is that charging is a mess. So I've got like my earphones on charge. There's usually three chargers here, but the girls move them constantly, so they're always missing. I've got my camera battery charger. And this is a bread bin. There's also stuff on top. This is beautiful little bunting. That I'm gonna put up on the chickens uh, run in the springtime. It's from Pickle Lily. But I'm going to pop that out with my bunting. I've got a bag specifically for chicken run bunting, would you believe? Uh, this is an old jalapeno uh, jar. And they're brilliant for candles. But Dan's keeping a torch in here at the moment for when he... Oh no, that's uh, a what's it torch? A um, UV torch. I don't know why that's there. And this is ink to send off for recycling. So let's move that. Anyway that to say that charging is a mess and this is a bread bin that we bought on Amazon we cut a hole in the back this is a uh, what do you call it a plug plank you know it's got lots of USBs in it it plugs in up here comes in the hole tada neat and tidy and if I don't want to see the plug I can just put the plant in front of it <laughs> maybe I could do something similar down here uh, with a box so you can just slot it in front of it easily move it and then I've just got a little um, shelf above it hmm
on the kidneys. I'm boiling. I have overdone it. So I went out, oh dear, in public looking like this, um, to get some milk and a few bits that we needed for later. And I thought, while I'm out, I'm going to go and look for slippers because I really do need them. I just need to have a mouthful of my... I got a gut health shot for Marks and Spencers. Mango, coconut milk, pineapple, turmeric and high fibre live cultures. I just remember it tasted really nice and I'm thirsty. I shouldn't get thirsty. That's nice. Um, thirsty means you're all ready on the way to dehydration. I need to be really careful with hydration as a J poucher. And I just realised I haven't really drunk more than about a glass of water and a couple of cups of tea this morning. I've ended up in hospital with dehydration before, so I've got that and then I'm going to have a nice big water when I get in. I've also got some of their chilli um, prawns which I will refrain from eating until I finish talking to you. In fact, I'm going to eat them and then I will catch you up at home. Changed my mind. Now I've had my prawns and my shot. I feel a bit perkier. Um, as I was saying, I think I've overdone it. I think I am fighting some kind of very minor underlying bug that's mixing with my hormones. That combined with the fact that my tummy is very uncomfortable at the moment because of the mix of it being that time of the month and having a J pouch and all of that combined is just making me feel a bit worn out and a bit woozy. And I noticed when I emptied out the cupboard this morning for the um, Thames Water Guy, I felt really dizzy afterwards. I had to sit down and now I've just gone out and about at the shop. It's only for like an hour. And again, I feel like, oh, I need to sit down now. So I'm going to get home and get the shopping away and then sit down and finish editing yesterday's vlog. Uh, but before I go home, I thought I'd show you what I bought. So I looked in, where did I look? I looked in the supermarkets first. I looked in Tesco's and Sainsbury's. Couldn't find anything there. I looked in Next. Came to, came to Blue Water, looked in Marks and Spencer's, looked in Next, looked in New Look, River Island. Where else did I look? Oh, I even looked in Primark. I was that desperate. Uh, shoe, I looked in, but they don't do slippers. And then right at the last minute, I thought, oh, I'll have a quick look in Fat Face. I never go into Fat Face. And there were two types. And if I could have combined the two, I would have had my perfect pair. One pair had just suede um, socks, suede inner lining. Uh, but it had this teddy fabric on the outside which I, I can't do uh, whereas this one's got the suede on the outside which I love but it's furry lining on the inside which I think I can learn to live with it's ever so soft and slippy I think I'll be all right with it yeah so I tried them on and I really liked them they are expensive though they are £37.50 my last pair was £7 and lasted me three years so I think these would need to last over 15 years in order to cost the same amount per year but um, hopefully they'll last longer than three years even if they last like four years it's still less than £10 a year if you think about it isn't it and they are really good quality so and the woman on the till said that her she bought some for herself and her teenage daughter has stolen them so she's going to have to get another pair but she said she's been wearing them out and about and she's been wearing them around blue water and out for a meal at Wagamama's and everything so I'm thinking well that's quite good that's a seal of approval from a teenager is always good okay I'm really thirsty I need to get home and drink more I'm going to get my audio book back on as well. I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's so in, I really like the style of writing um, of the author, Kate Johnson. Uh, she just keeps it interesting throughout the book and it doesn't, there was a few little twists and turns. Oh, I'm looking for my phone, but I've got my camera balanced on it. A few little twists and turns that I didn't expect or see coming, which is really nice. And yeah, it's just a nice love story. It's a bit smuttier than the first one, but it like not, distractingly so um yeah it's just a nice romance with witchy elements and ghosts and covens and yeah i'm really enjoying it and i'm gonna listen to it now oh, now i'm trying to plug my oh, what's wrong with me? i'm trying to plug my 
cable for listening to things on my phone into the side of my camera rather than turning my camera off and then retrieving my phone from underneath it and plugging it in. Good grief. chicken from the other day and salady bits and soft tacos. Hello, it is now half past eight vlogging went completely by the by the wayside for the rest of the day. I got home from the shops, put my new slippers on and sat down, did some editing, did some crochet and generally felt a little bit minging. Uh, and then I took some paracetamol which helped a lot. Then I had a bath which also helped a lot. Uh, and then you just saw that we had a very delicious, very simple dinner. It was really nice. And that's me now. I'm going to go and sit down my crochet sock and maybe a blogtober or maybe I just might watch Big Bang Theory with Lilia. Actually yeah that's what I'm going to do. And then Dan and I have still got to catch up on Bake Off because we thought we were going to catch up with it on Wednesday early from Tuesday but it turns out they postponed it to Wednesday because of the football and I went to bed really early last night so we're going to watch it tonight. just baby running in to put something in the bin so that's what we're going to do bit of a shorter vlog tonight today uh, just because I'm feeling a little bit under the weather still all people can hear on the vlog is the pitter patter of footsteps I've got some questions to catch up on um, I've spotted uh, so I'll do that maybe tomorrow or the day after anyway I'll see you tomorrow for Friday last day of term uh, for the girls and yeah, last day of the week, well, the working week and hopefully by then I'll learn to speak. <laughs> Have a lovely evening, day, whenever you're watching this and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>